hello guys in this video we will learn how we can create common class library in web api in dotnet core so i am continuing the same video series for web, web api in dotnet core 3.1 okay so earlier we have already implemented the identity with with dotnet core and then we implemented swagger for the api documentation and now we will use a common class library so to add a common class first we need to create a new project here so just right click in the solution on the, sol on the solution and then go to add then click on new project and from here I will select dotnet standard class library because this class library can be used in any kind of projects in future so we will use this and there are some other also library but uh, I will not discuss about that at here you can see razor class library or or the other class libraries are also here you can see okay right here you can see dot dotnet framework class library that can be used only in dotnet framework and here you can see the class library dotnet code this can be used in c sharp linux mac os windows library but when you will see the dotnet standard class library then you can see here a lot of options like C sharp, Android, iOS, Linux, Mac OS, Windows library. Means in any project you can use .NET standard class library. Therefore, I'm going to use this. Right. So after selecting this, I will click on next, and I will give uh, give here a meaningful name like class library dot model okay you can give if you want you we can also rename this from class library to anything else but for now for better understanding purpose i will keep it keep it like this okay so now let me click on create so it's now creating the new project so here you can see it's created a new project with the same name which I had given class library dot model so here it has created a default class so let me like bring all the models from here to here because I don't want to keep model right here in the web application project so now i can delete it from here okay so one more thing i need to do because you can see here it's taking the old project means sorry not old project the other project like web application project namespace so i don't want to give it this namespace therefore I will change the namespace in each class ok so let me paste it here ok the same thing I will do in login and the same thing I will do in register and also I will do same in response ok so now we don't need this class 1 right now so we can delete this class 1 ok
and also I forgot to mention one more thing like also I need to add the folder name here okay to match the complete folder structure okay I need to repeat the same okay now if I will build this project then you can see th there are lots of error here ok as you can see the web application project failed one succeeded and one failed here so I will go to the error list and right here it's saying that this namespace is missing because now we have deleted the folder from there so what we need to do we need to add the reference for this class library dot model project in web application api project to add that we can click on that we can right click on dependency and from here we i need to click on add new add project reference and from here we have only one project here right now so I will click on OK after selecting this OK and now here you can see inside the project we have the reference so I can use it from here using class library dot model dot models so now we are using the same namespace which we have given here ok for all the classes so you can see and now again let me check so right now no errors are here so let me again build with this project you can see here both the projects is built successfully ok so now let me run this project and we will try to log in using the api ok so now you can see our swagger is like project is loading and the first page will be the swagger documentation the api documentation will be the first page ok let it load first ok it is taking bit longer for because it the first the project is loading for the first time ok so just to wait for the completion so now here you can see it's loaded and now we can run this login api from here so here it is the login api ok so now let me click on send So here you can see there is we got the response. Okay. And if you we want we can also check the other API by passing this into the parameter. So in this API we do not need because it's the get API. So we just need to pass this authentication here and now click on send 
okay so here you can see we got the response that means everything is working well after like creating a new class library and moving all the models inside that class library okay so we can reuse this model in any projects whichever we will create in future okay so for now it's that's all thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you